Today, we are going to discuss the SharePoint Search Keyword Query Language. Now, SharePoint Search itself is very powerful. Out of box, it does wonderful search. But sometimes, you might be more specific about what you want. With a little knowledge of Keyword Query Language Syntax, you can get what you want much faster instead of scrolling down the search results, if at all you get millions of results. Today's demonstration will show you some useful queries which will help you in your work. Suppose you are searching for a single word, let's say, this is the normal search you would always do. Now let's try the wildcard search. Wildcard allows you to return results which contain, which need not contain the entire word. For example, suppose you are searching for sample word. Let's just type S-A-M-P and put a star symbol. So this gives you results. For example, if you see samples contain the word S-A-M-P. However, there is a little drawback. You cannot use wildcard search from the beginning of the word. Suppose you're searching for sample and you type. This would not return the result. Sometimes you would want to return the exact phrase. So in that case, it's better you type the word in double quotes. Let's say we are searching for a phrase. So this is one document which contains the exact word in the double quotes. Suppose we remove this double quotes and see what happens. So the, if you don't have double quotes, it also gives results containing word who or am or I. Now let's just try to search using the properties syntax. So the property syntax is you type the property name followed by the symbol operator. This can be this colon which indicates contains or it can be equal to or it can be greater than or it can be lesser than or this can be not equal to. Property name should be followed by a symbol followed by the actual value. Now let's just try the simple query where, where we want to search for a particular SharePoint list. So we would type STS underscore list. Followed by the name. So this site contains the list with this name. Let's try. So this search gives all the documents of type docs, that is Microsoft Office Word documents. Now let's search for a particular file name. So if you observe this document, we will be seeing a near feature which will be using this content. If you look at this content, garden is surrounding a beautiful hut. Garden and hut is separated by four words. So there is a beautiful query called near which will allow you to search documents which are near to each other. Let's try to search garden. near
So this query returned the result. Suppose one property you need to note is that you cannot, you should always type caps for the operators with words. Suppose you type this, you would not get the expected results. For the operators having words like and, or, not, you should use always caps. Now let's try garden and hut. So this search results, uh, results all documents containing the word garden as well as hut. Now if you search for garden or hut, the search returns document containing garden or hut. Let's try to return documents containing garden and not hut. Now, let's try to search for documents whose author is containing the word Alex. Now, let's try to give a search query where the author contains Alex and the size of the document is less than 100. Now let's try size of the document is greater than 100. I forgot to get the caps. Now, if you want to search for documents between a particular size, we would use size between, let's try between 1000 and 2000. You use two dots. So there are nothing matching our results. Let's try 20,000. It's containing author and size. is around greater than between 100 and 200k, 20,000k. Suppose you want to search for documents written today that is modified or created today, you can use the command search, uh, search query write is equal to today. Suppose you want to search for documents this week we would use this week. You need to ensure the words with more than one word need to be enclosed in double quotes. Let's try last year. So documents older than last year are listed when you use this command write less than last year. Suppose you want to exclude, suppose you say you do not want author Sarah You can use the minus symbol if you see now Sarah is excluded or another option used to use not.
you can use double quotes for complex queries. Let's suppose say we do not want author Sarah and author Garth. So this parenthesis helps. Oh, you still. Now, if you see, if you do not want author with starting G or Sarah, you can use this command. And if you see the author's list on the left, Sarah and Garth do not are not visible now. Now let's try for the synonyms. The synonym concepts returns words with similar meanings. You use the term words and give, suppose you're searching for health and well-being, which mean the same thing. Ensure that the words are in caps. This results all documents, health and well-being also. But note the difference. The ranking is the same. That is, those documents with health as well as well-being are ranked as the same. So as a summary, we saw an overview of keyword query language in SharePoint today. We did a simple search for words, a search for wildcard search. We did a search for words within double quotes for the exact phrase search. Then we went ahead and searched for a SharePoint list using STS underscore list. Then we searched for particular documents with file name as well as search for a particular uh, file type. Then we search, gave some commands to search for certain author. Then we give us, gave a search for proximity, that is words grouped together using the command near. Then we saw some commands for documents with size between certain limit as well as greater than and less than certain limit. Then we saw a search for documents which are returned today as well as a simple search for word search which mean the same that is synonyms thank you